Oh, hey, how you doing? I'm Tim Carter from AskTheBuilder.com, and we're going to have some fun today. This wall right here, we're going to take it down. But before we start demoing and blowing the studs out, I have to determine whether or not that wall is a bearing wall or a supporting wall. And there are some clues that are around here in this home that will tell us whether or not that's the case. But let me show you something first of all. This wall right here, I'm pretty convinced this is a bearing wall. And I'm going to show you why in just a second. Come with me. So look here. Here we are in this giant room and look up above. Notice there's that big box up there. Well, that I'm convinced absolutely is a big beam because that box runs the entire length of these two rooms over to that fireplace. And this particular house, we're down in the basement, right, right here, this is actually a foundation wall of the house. And right here is an outside wall that is absolutely a bearing wall. All the load from the roof is coming down on this wall and that wall. And that tells me that that is absolutely a big beam right there. And the floor joists in this room are running probably like this from that bearing wall behind you to the beam and then from the beam over to the other foundation wall. But let's go back in this room here a second. So look up here. This is where that beam should be, right here. That big box, and there's not a big box. That's a clue. So what I actually think is happening in this room, as crazy as it sounds, even though the floor joists on that side of the wall over there are running this way, I'm convinced that the floor joists in this room run this way, parallel with the wall that I want to take out. But that still doesn't mean this is a non-bearing load wall. We need to go upstairs right now, find out where this wall really is, and see if there's something on top of it. Let's go do that right now. Oh, this is great. Check this out. Here I am. I'm standing right now, right above where that big stepladder was that I just climbed down from. And look, behind me, there's no wall. This is a giant, wide open room. And even right here, remember where that, that bearing wall that I thought was downstairs? It doesn't even exist up here. Absolutely, I'm convinced at this point that that wall that I want to tear out downstairs is not a load bearing wall. It's not a supporting wall, but we need to verify it a couple of ways. If you're lucky enough to have blueprints of the house when it was built, that could be a really, really good thing to look at. Let's go check it out right now. Oh, look at this. We lucked out. I found the original blueprints for this home. That's pretty rare, to be honest with you. And these are really good plans, actually. I'm going to page through, and what I'm looking for is a page that maybe begins with an S. And the reason it stands for S is for structural. Look at this. Found it. S1. And S1 says foundation plan. But so let's hope we can find the next page. Oh, S2. Main level framing plan. That's exactly what we're looking for. So let's open it up to that page. And oh, look at that. Do you see this? This may be confusing to you, but what it really is, this is showing each of the floor joists that I'm actually standing on right now. And look at that. There's that giant beam I was telling you about downstairs in that basement. And, and look at this. The floor joists are going exactly as I said, from the foundation wall to that outer wall. But look here. In the room right above where that wall is, the floor joists have changed direction. That's fantastic. That's exactly what we wanted to know. That tells me right now that that wall down in the basement is a non-bearing wall. It's not supporting any weight whatsoever. But before we blast it out, we're going to verify with a stud detector that those floor joists in the ceiling are absolutely going this direction. That's all you have to do if you want to make sure that a wall is load bearing. If you have any questions whatsoever on your job, absolutely call a residential structural engineer. Don't make a mistake. 
Don't collapse your house. It's not worth it. I'm Tim Carter for AskTheBuilder.com. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to AskTheBuilder.com.